Hey there, Seekers of Style Knowledge and all that good stuff. Joe here from Style by Joe with What's in Joe's Mouth. And today I'm going to give you 10 ways to make your food taste better. And number one, and I think across the board, this is probably such a huge one, is use fresh, local, in-season food. I mean, right there, the first word I said, it's fresh. They're not frozen. It's produce that came right to you. Um, if you're lucky enough to have a farm stand that has fresh chicken and fresh meats, they haven't been frozen. Not a lot has been done to them. It's just going to taste better. Number two, and this is something that I swear by, have all your ingredients prepped and ready to go. Even if it's down to the spoons that you're gonna to use to stir it and the spatulas that you're gonna to use to flip it. If you have them ready, there's not like, oh my God, I forgot I need to do this, which is why people get so frustrated with cooking. If it's right there ready to go, it's right there ready to go. Number three, use a sharp knife. I mean, it kind of sounds like a no brainer, but Sharp knives are safer to use. The sharp knife is going to go into the food. If it's dull, there's a chance that it's gonna slide and possibly cut you. And quite frankly, you're gonna to wanna to be cut by a sharp knife, which is going to leave a fresh, crisp cut instead of a dull knife that's going to be jagged and really cause some problems. Right on top of that is practice your knife skills. If the dice is at the same level or the same consistency, it's going to cook evenly. Foods that aren't diced the same way, that aren't cut in strips the same way, are going to cut, cook differently. And some might be undercooked or some might be burned. Number five, never rush things. Just like anything in, else in life, when you rush is when mistakes happen. If you take your time, if you breathe through it, it's going to be so much better. Number six, know about your cooking oils and how and when to use them. I mean, there's peanut oil, there's avocado oil, there's extra virgin olive oil, there's olive oil. They all have different temperatures that they can cook at and they all have different flavors that they're going to impart. It's important. Number seven, don't be afraid of butter. Butter is gonna give you better flavor and it's gonna increase the texture, uh, the volume, the consistency of your sauces, of what you're making. Going right into that, and I've touched on this one before, use whole fat foods. You're gonna, if it's a whole fat versus a low fat, you're gonna need less to get the same flavor and a whole fat food is gonna keep you fuller longer. Number nine, learn about fresh herbs. Fresh herbs impart such a great taste to what you're cooking. They generally tend not to be expensive and quite frankly, you can grow most of them yourselves if you have a deep windowsill or a little patch of grass. And number 10, Salt your food. Obviously, if you're on a low sodium diet, I'm not telling you to ignore that, but salt, just like flavor, or just like butter, is going to impart flavor. Almost all the cooking shows that you watch, one of the things that they say to their contestants is, your food is under seasoned. Don't be afraid to use salt. Hey folks, this has been Joe from Style by Joe with What's in Jen Joe's Mouth, 10 ways to cook better. Folks, Style by Joe, of course, is the YouTube channel that you have subscribed to. Style by Joe is also my Instagram. Please share these videos with your friends because they deserve to be just as stylish and knowledgeable as you are. Style You by Joe is my Facebook, my Gmail, and my Twitter. Folks, if you enjoy my videos, drop me a comment. Let me know what I'm doing right for you. By the same token, if you don't, let me know what I could do better for you because I'm here for you. Stay stylish and I'll talk to you soon.